Gord, welcome to our kitchen. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, what we do for everybody here in the kitchen is uh, they get a free toaster. Really? So there, there's your toaster. New album coming out April the 8th, Tin Roof. Yeah, and pre-sales are up now on it, and uh, extremely excited about this record. You know, it was uh, a bit of a change for me. I, I, uh, I uh, switched producers on this project, which was really hard. I mean, uh, I, I worked with Byron Hill for six records, and he's been a huge mentor of mine. And um, we've had all sorts of success, so people often wonder why you would change. But uh, we started writing every other day, and you know, come up with stuff that I thought was even better. So the album's got like 15 tracks on it, which is, I guess, rare today. People are that's a lot more, of songs. More going to the EP, yeah. but you know, I just, you know, as a fan of music, I just want to make sure everybody's getting the value. I moved down to Nashville in August and to uh, pursue the U.S. market and mainly write, be able to write every day with yeah. with the pub publishing company I work with, Olay. There had to be some bumps along the way and some little potholes to get yeah. through, but I mean, how have they adjusted your whole family? Well, it's a big adjustment, you know, it's uh, especially for your, you know, I've got three children, my right. wife, it's it's a huge sacrifice for them. I mean, I've been going to Nashville for 15 years and, and you know, really enjoy it. Uh, but basically, um, it's a great opportunity. It's a, you know, for everybody, it's a unique experience that we can have. and. Um, we'll be back in Canada, though. We love Canada way too much, and uh, basically on a three-year visa down there. Fishing, a big uh, <laughs> part of your life. Fishing's become a huge part of our life. There's a there's a pond in the neighborhood where we live, and and uh, my son's. I was always. I actually got him into fishing earlier, about a year ago, but he's really into it now. There's, yeah. He's never caught catfish in his life, so they catch these big catfish and bass, and you know, it's uh, it's it's a lot of fun. I downloaded your app. Mm -hmm. All right, so everyone should get Gord Bamford app mm -hmm. available at the App Store. Yeah, we've really, uh, really, you know, pumped up our social media. We got a gal working with us now. Yeah, that's uh, work for the company doing that and the app. And we've got a brand new fan club that just launched too as well. Yeah. So you can go on there and there's different there's different membership categories that you can you can uh, purchase and take part in some special events that we're we're having and. Right. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a big part of the business yeah. now. You know, I, I still believe in my heart, though, that it's a, it's still a connection business. It's a, still a people business, and you got to connect with your fans. And that's just another way to do it. But I think that one-on-one -on -one fan connection yeah. is still, still the most important. We played last night in the small theater, and right. I mean, you can hear if somebody yells at you. You can hear what they say. You know, <laughs> and you can interact with them, and yeah. and uh, it's a little more intimate. But uh, I think that's the greatest thing about what I do is I just want to. Get out and play my music, and I don't. I don't really care if it's a small town or a small yeah. theater or a arena. I think that uh, I mean we'll we'll really play anywhere, and if people are willing to come see us play. <laughs> I grew up on a farm, yeah. and I, I got uh, a one year of electrical. I lived in a small town, so I was I did a bunch of concrete work. I drove drove truck, and yeah. and the people in my community always were behind what I was trying to chase in this dream, and I could kind of phone up and say I wasn't coming to work Thursday, Friday, and they'd let me go play in some honky-tonk somewhere. I think that was the beauty of coming from a small community where they really got that, you know. Heard you in a song. Yeah. Heard you in a song. Maybe the best one that we've had yet. Yeah, a little bit different sound for me, but uh, something that, uh, you know, is really uh, happening right now. Tin Roof coming out April 8th. Your tour starts April the 7th. It is certified country. Mm -hmm. uh, Joe Nichols is going to be on with you. Yeah, excited about that. I've been a fan of Joe Nichols stuff for a long time. He's yeah. had a bunch of number one hits. and um, I think it may be the first time a Canadian's you know, co headlined mm -hmm. a bill with an American. Right coast to coast, that one. So. And it happens May 24th, by the way, at the General yeah, Motors right Center. That's our long weekend. Uh, yeah, it was off to a great start here. I think yeah. uh, the folks here in this area were the, I think we were the, uh, it was the best start out of the gate. So Is that right? I think tickets are really common, so it's good. Lord, thank you so much. My pleasure. Thanks a lot. All right. Don't forget your toaster. Yeah.